Callahan College supports over 2,500 students across three campuses. When the 16 primary schools that help form Callahan Education Pathways are added, that number expands to 7,000 children and young adults. It's not surprising then that 2012 was a year of many highlights. For 2012, I think the highlight for us has been our students um, being able to participate in the Aboriginal Cultural Day at Marook. Um, they were able to go to the Stockton Sand Dunes and experience some real good cultural interactions there, not only with their students from here, but they were also made friendships with the students from other schools and more networking with all the Aboriginal students who were mentors for them. So that proved to be a really good day for everybody. There are lots of shared programs that Callaghan Education Pathways has uh, provided for our, our, our students. Um, some that come to mind are the AIM High program at Waratah campus, uh, which has changed in complexion over the years, but caters for um, an extension of learning for our children in a transition program. These opportunities are very, very special and they do get, have the opportunities to get involved and get involved with not only their peer group, but peer groups from other schools. Some of those are things such as the dance group, they also have mentor support programs, certain schools, particularly as you go into senior schools, you've got study groups. Overall, 2012 has been an amazing year of successes here at Waratah and one that I'm very proud of. We've continued to strengthen and implement a number of strategic programs, uh, such as positive behaviour for learning. We have a very strong professional learning program for staff, which is making a big impact in the school. And we have strengthened our transition program with year sixes and strengthening uh, the links with primary schools. Another way to measure school image is in enrolments. And next year, for the first time in a number of years, our year seven enrolments have increased. Uh, we're going to have to put on an extra class. And that's, as I said, is a good sign for the school. The highlights are many across all areas. Uh, in terms of teaching and learning, well, four students have passed university subjects this year. Uh, we've won the, the regional band competition, stage band competition. Our sporting teams have just done exceptionally well, including two state quarter finalists across a, a variety of sports, and we've been regional winners in, in three others. We've had any number of students take leadership opportunities through our Aboriginal work, through our SRC, which is working really well. Particularly in 2012, we've had most of this, we've had $11 million spent on the school. We now have 21st century infrastructure to make this place a fantastic place. Look, th this year has been an absolute uh, year of achievement. The highlights for this year in particular um, reflect the quality of our students, the, the, the breadth of their achievement and the work that our staff do and they should all be very proud of that. I suppose one of the, the, the biggest um, achievements that we could showcase is our Surfest involvement. There's a, 110 students who take part in that every year and it really showcases our students to the community and it's one of our most valuable um, community partnerships. In terms of uh, students being involved in a whole range of other activities, uh, we've had 20 odd students who were involved in Starstruck. Uh, a, a huge team of students put together an environmental exp expo day which we held in May. And a large number of students participated in J Day as part of the transition program. Um, and there are some significant achievements in sports as well. Callaghan has um, helped me throughout my netball experience. Um, in year nine and 10, I represented the school in the college netball. Since then, graduated through year 12, still representing the college. Um, and I'm also part of the Hunter Region team. Well, I'd like to be an NRL referee where after schooling, and the college has helped me with that as they've allowed me and supported me at higher levels to go down to Sydney and represent the state and the region and also allow me to juggle my schoolwork with my refereeing on many occasions. But I think one of the main benefits are the opportunities that Callaghan offers the students. Um, my children have been involved with the GATS program, the CAPA program and lots of sporting opportunities, um, all of which they're thoroughly enjoyed. By having these opportunities it builds great relationships between the students and the teachers. For me, it was attending the Year 12 graduation ceremony, not because it represented the end of high school and, and the end of an era for so many, but it was the mutual respect that both teachers and students showed to one another that I found so wonderful to witness. And also on the night, I saw students thank so many of these teachers for believing in them, for giving them opportunities, for having the passion to teach them, but also for instilling in them the passion to learn. The college is a unique centre of learning in the Hunter and we're providing tremendous opportunities for our students. 
Students have experienced mentoring programs with the University of Newcastle, fun activities in engineering, industrial arts, science and maths through the ME program and had tremendous opportunities to develop their leadership skills. The opening of the Newcastle Community Trade Training Centre provided industry standard facilities for our students allowing them to get a head start in their careers. The College Assessment for Learning program and Quality Teaching Rounds were two of the major cross-college initiatives that were delivered in 2012. The improvement for our Aboriginal students has been amazing. We have quadrupled the number of students completing Year 12. Callaghan College was awarded a 2012 Director General's Award in School Achievement in recognition of the great work that we're doing for our students. 2012 was an incredibly successful year for Callaghan College and I thank our wonderful principal, staff and community for their ongoing support.